The Sentinel is known to be reliable, fearless, disciplined, consistent, courageous, motivated, and skillful. So do what you feel passionate about. Take chances. All these qualities start from the mind. Your mind can be your worst enemy or your most powerful weapon. The world becomes your library to help you become better at your craft. Is this the dagger? Learn how to achieve greatness and tap into the Sentinel Mindset. Well, good oh. afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to a beautiful special edition of the Executive Protection Lifestyle Series Protector Symposium 4.0. Brought to you by. Brought to you. Hold on. Miami edition. Brought to you by Executive Protection Lifestyle Canada, sponsored by the Sentinel Mindset, with your hosts, Constantine, Michael, and special guests from Episode 7, Dragon Vukasevic. Did we rehearse this? Yes. And and geographic location provided by... (laughs) Where would that be? Google Maps. Sentinel (laughs) Sentinel Office. Sentinel Office. Okay, Okay, guys. Well, welcome. Welcome. I'm very excited right now what we're about to do here. We're about to tell you what we just went through. Dragon, since you came down, you had the privilege... Of spending time with, with us. us. Mm-hmm. With us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Tell us first so of all. First of all the yeah. privilege is definitely on mine. Yeah. Tell us first of all, what was your initial thoughts being in a protector's world brought to you by? I mean, you go in, but what, I mean, should yeah. we ask them what it was? What was this symposium? What was it? Yeah. For yeah. those that are listening, what was it? So we went down uh, to the um, protector symposium 4.0 hosted by Byron Rogers. Um, shout know, out to Byron. Shout out to Byron. Uh, awesome guy. We also had a, a, a guest go down with us by the name of Steve Somerville. Shout out to Steve. Hey, shout out yeah. to Steve. Um, he was one of the guest speakers. So, uh, you know, we got to meet a lot of uh, amazing instructors down there from the protection world. You know, uh, we got to witness, uh, you know, them speaking and, and saying a little bit about themselves and who they are and what they offer. And then we were able to witness them in actual action, you know, providing these uh, hard skills. Um, on the shooting range and, and uh, these tactical training skills that they uh, that they were providing down there it was amazing. It now, was what, amazing what would you experience. say? What made these instructors so unique? I mean, because it wasn't just like picking random guys that can talk about protection. What, what made them as a, as a nucleus so unique? Because they were so good at what they do. Yeah, you know, they yeah. were just so effective. A real deal guys with like pff, can imagine years and years and years of experience. You know, yeah, um, in the real world. Uh, a lot of these guys backgrounds from you know special forces to you know SWAT and, and, you know everything in between so they had a lot to offer so I made them you know amazing instructors yeah something about that perspective of someone who's like I mean they they, they all shared that they had decades of theory you know through things that they've learned but at some point they got battle battle tested yes right absolutely. Like, and at some point it almost you see didn't you notice that there was like almost like a humility from the instructors because they understood that like this skill set is a special skill set for sure right you Absolutely. know like no one was like gloating from the stage oh this is what i know this is what i've done nah. you know i mean you know one of the speakers who had his face partially blown off who we were greatly impacted by him mr mike panone like yeah think about that and, and i say that i mean we'll get more into it mm-hmm. uh, to, to me what was so amazing about the, the whole experience was seeing that this, this room of protectors no matter what capacity that they served had one common trait they, they felt that they were a born protector Okay, protector by nature. Protector by nature. And and just because Dragon didn't do a very good job of explaining the whole two days, it was two days. I'm just playing with you, Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it was two days. Three days. The, um, actually, three days. Sorry, the first day was wah, wah, all... Wah, was all oh. Who's not good at explaining? Oh, really? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. The first day was all theory. Um, speakers talking about everything from soft to hard skills. Then, what Dragon didn't realize, and you're going to catch this in some of the Miami Siri clips, we had to go right into the trenches and this is where all the hard skills came into place. And what Dragon didn't realize was that he was actually going to be one of the participants. It was a setup. It was a setup. We set him up. So we told them bring comfy clothes. That's right. And okay. what, what we're going to show you guys uh, in, in the future series is just some incredible footage that Dragon was part of with one of these top-renowned speakers, Craig Douglas. And again, we're going to get into that. If you know who these names are, by the end of these series, you will know exactly who they were. But we discovered a lot of things, guys. And I discovered something. And I discovered that all those years, a lifelong, a lifelong growing up journey of doing things where people always said, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? What was that thing I was doing? 
I mean, if you're ever in a situation where you're seeing someone's in danger, if you're ever in a situation where you're seeing a fight or in a situation where you see someone that's in trouble, if you ever saw that, I was that guy that jumped right into the scene. I jumped in there. It's none of my business. It's not supposed to be my business, but something inside me made me always go there. And at the end of the day, I just did it. I don't think nothing of it. Do you think at all when you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth, you you just do it. It's not a big special thing. Mm -hmm. But what I discovered seeing the people at this protector symposium, they had one thing in common. And I'm telling you right now, this is not because we went down there. We're on the hype. It's actually a week and a half later right now. Yeah, but we're still hype. We're still hype. Yeah. These people are literally born protectors. They're, it's in their DNA. And this is what we're going to actually capture over the next little bit is what exactly do you mean it's in their DNA? What do you mean you're a born protector? Well, if you're that guy that you see when you see a fight, pulls out your phone to videotape it, I can tell you right now you're not a born protector. Okay? <laughs> a uh, yeah. So, so as, as an no, example, know. you know what I mean? So yeah, um, born, A, a born point. protector is someone driving to work. They see a car veer off the road. They also go off the road on purpose yes. to get on the curb and try to save that person. That's right. Help that person. You know, That's right. Not thinking about their work schedule or that their groceries might be getting warm. Yes. Okay. And Mike, in our conversations and with Dragon, uh, I'm pretty sure when I'm saying that born protectors, I, I want to ask you guys because I know we had the conversation. I already know the answers. But would you say you feel based on what you saw and what the, what, what the kind of core fundamental requirements are to be a protector? Start off with you, Mike. Do you think that you have that born protector DNA as well? Yeah, hundred percent. But I, you know what? I actually never really thought of it yes. like that, and that's what was cool about mm-hmm. being in the room. You realize, you know what? I, I'm wired this way. Right. This is how I was, and there's a the way for me. I mean, it's it's a little bit more uh, messy with me. I always thought I was a born fighter. So see the difference. But mm. what's deeper than the fighting action is 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 protector the that's reasoning right? yeah so the reason that's, that's the why so and, and I, the reason why i say fighters because i i fought a lot yes and at some point i fought there was an internal fight that kind of uh, kind of almost took my life so to say and then at this kind of second half of my life i said okay i'm gonna fight for other people right and it was a journey of like not changing who i was but at the core being like you know what i'm designed to fight for good causes for mm. people who can't fight for themselves for to fight for good things righteous things and you know, not just for nonsense not f- just right. to get money or get respect on the street yeah but what it comes down to is i'm fighting to protect you don't yes. just fight for no reason right yeah right you know what i'm saying right Absolutely. so that's kind of how i find that's how i kind of quantify it for myself well i'll tell you this one of the things dragon trades uh before I say my comment, what about you, bro? I, I absolutely feel the same way, man. I feel like a, you know, a born protector. I think, uh, you know, security came into my life for a reason. You know, I was still young, but it, 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 it made me come alive as a person. It was definitely a good fit for me, you know. Mm-hmm. The total contrast to what I did in the past. And if someone, you know, years and years ago told me I'd be in security or in the protection world, I wouldn't believe them. But it's funny where life takes you, you know, when you evolve into who you really are. Yeah. And, um, you know, so definitely plays a part in who I am and, and being exposed to guys like this, you know, being in these circles and seeing people, like-minded people, you know, and being exposed to a certain type of training, like I come alive, you know, yeah. even, even if you're nervous, even if you're, you know, unsure of certain things, you know, you come alive in these moments and that just assures you who you really are and yeah. what your calling is, yeah. you yeah. know, and yeah. this is a good fit for me, yeah. you know. Amazing. Absolutely. Well, look. I want to just put a big fat disclaimer. In this series, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of things that are going to probably throw you back quite a bit. Meaning as in, you're not going to expect what you're going to see. You're going to see people that are going to be put in the grind in training. It's a gauntlet. It's a gauntlet. You're going to see people basically maxing out, operating on fumes. And you're going to ask these questions to yourself. Why? Why are they doing this? Point of tears, right. point of exhaustion, yeah. point of giving up. It's honestly incredible. And I invite anybody, anybody listening to this and watching this, you have to be part of the Next Protector Symposium 5.0. And I'm telling you, every year it gets better, better, and better. But um, I, I, I really, really uh, challenge you all to, when you look at this, have an open mind. And if this is something that you watch and you're thinking, you know what? I think... I actually have the same thing that I'm hearing about you guys right now. I have this protector DNA in me, and you want to explore that 100%, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and at the end of the day, again, it's just it's brought some amazing things. One person that we also met down there, a fellow Canadian, for those who don't know, maybe he doesn't want them to know, but I think he does. 
We met Paolo from Funker Tactical. Yeah, GN. And uh, again, it was a, a, a pretty amazing thing. To, I've never knew of Paolo prior to this, but after talking to him and seeing his body of work, I mean, maybe I'm the only one that hasn't uh, subscribed to his channel. Now I have, but he's put some incredible work together and we're also going to be connecting with Paolo as well. So yeah. there's a lot of cool things coming, guys. Get ready for this because right now we're going to dive into many, many guest speakers. We're going to be releasing this in sections. And I think maybe the first person, Mike, that we should spotlight is the person that who put the whole thing together, Mr. Byron Rogers. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're going to see behind the scenes stuff, funny stuff, raw stuff. You're going to see some pretty intense stuff, things that you maybe never expected. But again... I challenge you to have an open mind because you're about to dive into the world of executive protection. The person that has made the Protector Symposium possible, his name is Byron Rogers, great friend of the company, great friend individually, and I can tell you this guy is just the real deal, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I have a write-up here. I mean, yeah, Marines and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's blah. a Marine. He's a yeah, Marine, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forget that. Byron is the most down-to-earth guy that is literally paving the road um, of what a protector should be. And what he's doing is he's creating a, a catch where he's bringing in protectors around the world into a forum where they can just pretty much identify with what they do. He's really good at it. He has a genuine heart. The way he articulates is incredible. And... Uh, Again, I think it's uh, I think it's just a must that we dive in. Mike, what about you? I mean, w w what's your thoughts of him? No, I'd say well, I mean, it doesn't matter what I think because he's good. He's okay. good before his maker and yes. he's good with his family right. and in his community. But that's what he's doing. He's enlarging the community. Right. I look at him, you know, in protection. We talked about just this yesterday with some guests we had here. It's a it's a it's an industry of a lot of lone wolves. Yes. Right? And it's just the nature of the biz. Right. You know? Um, Byron's the guy who's kind of opened up his house and said, if anyone wants to come in, come, let's share, share, yeah. share your craft, your trade. What did you do? How did you survive this? And he's kind of made it like, okay to be generous with what you know. Right. Right. That's good. And, and it, it, it's almost as like his house is the house that everyone's now congregating, getting in. Um, and we're all benefiting from it. And I think it's just a pleasure to know him. Um, you're going to hear his name. I, I kind of say he's the Dr. Oz of protection. Yeah. You know, he's, he's essentially, he's, he's kind of like the spokesperson for the industry. And he has just the best heart. I mean, he admits sooner than anyone that he, he has flaws. He's not perfect. Yeah. He was so humble. He said these instructors that he had for the symposium are his heroes. Like, he said he had to tell himself to not be awkward around them. We actually have yeah. some footage of, of Byron yeah. being corrected by one of the speakers. And his attitude was incredible. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he I mean being fatigued and tired under the gauntlet, participating as the host. Yes, yeah. folks, as the host, he rolled up his sleeves and he got ready for the, for the, for Tony, Tony sentiments gauntlet. And Tony was shouting some stuff in correction. And yeah. it was amazing to see Byron took it, yeah. humbly took it and made yeah. the correction. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wasn't trying to save face and didn't have a problem saying, Hey man, you can't correct me at my own symposium. Yeah. How okay. about you, Dragon? Yeah. What, what's your thoughts? I mean, your your first time seeing Byron, right? I mean, I know you. Yeah, see your him first on time meeting him. Yeah, it's the first time I actually met yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heard a lot about him through you guys. You guys have been in, you know in contact with him. I know for some time prior to this trip. Um, but yeah, it's my first time meeting him. I mean, what can I say, man? Uh, particularly, you guys already said all the right things. He's a really, really cool guy. So approachable. Again, so humble, uh, welcoming. Um, it's a it's a type of guy. Where it's it's like you almost known him for like ten years. Yeah, that's how I felt when I first met him. Yeah, it's like that. Do I know this guy? Like, did we grow up together or something? Said, that's how I feel around him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, like a really good articulation, Mike. Like a guy that's created something and opened the doors for other people to benefit. And you know, it's just it was fantastic, man. It's just an amazing event for me to to be a part of. And there was a moment there for me where I was like almost like pinching myself, like. This is so cool where I find myself right now. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to soak this up. Yeah. Because I'm around like some some fantastic people that I'm going to can learn so much from and just being exposed to this. So, yeah, it was amazing for I'm, me. I mean, we look forward to it. We look forward to that, yeah. that PS5. You know, yeah. it's, it's almost like a very short trip. But as the time goes by, I'm just starting to realize right now how much I was actually impacted by it. Yeah. 
you know yeah. the more time that, that goes by the, the more i see the mark that it left on me yeah mm -hmm. amazing you know so it was really, really i mean that's cool. a tra transformative power about it yeah. that's, that's what happened it wasn't just yeah. Like, yeah some good information maybe i'll add a a new skill to my arsenal it wasn't that at all man well let's yeah. jump in guys this is an observation bro yeah man you're someone that is literally humility ego does not exist thank you and one of the things that we noticed is right at the very beginning when you were when you were shooting mm -hmm. tony did a correction mm -hmm. and you took that correction yeah. and you just went with it 100 and you know at the end of the day when, when people see yeah like, as as much as you've developed and, and created so much accomplishments mm -hmm. that you're always learning mm -hmm. what, what's your thoughts on that yo it's executive protection lifestyle it's executive protection lifestyle right so what I've done from the beginning is never pretend to be perfect. If you go back to my early shooting videos, you'll see the progression. You'll see how horrible I was. I was the slowest, one of the slowest and inaccurate dudes in my crew. My whole crew was making fun of me. Like, you're gonna put this on the internet? You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you're at the bottom of our, 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 our wolf pack, you know? And I was like, yeah, but this is about the lifestyle. You know, how many guys are like not even out here right now because they're so afraid of, of not being perfect and they're trying to pretend about perfection you know they're resting on laurels because they were once upon a time whatever you know yeah so i never want to be one of those guys i want to show you guys the journey that we all have to go on you know what i mean from from where we are at yes i gotta start from byron you know yeah. you gotta start from where you're at you know everybody watching you gotta start from where you're at and i never want you guys to think that it's about i'm not the biggest not the baddest not the best but i will always give my imperfection and I'll always sacrifice it on the altar of progress. And progress, incremental progress is a fortress. So for me, messing up in the class, and I love it, messing up in the class, it's an opportunity to show the humility, and I thank you for that compliment, it's huge. The, the way that we need to be students of the game and we need to submit to training in order to get better. That's what it's all about. I'm probably gonna get beat in a car fight here at some point today. <laughs> I know there's some folks gunning for yeah. me, right? But I want you guys to see that. You see my content? I, sh I show when I miss. Yeah. I show when I mess up. Talk about it. You know, Arnold, it's reality. Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he was first starting out in the game, one of the weakest parts about his body was his calves. Mm. So what he would do is he would cut off all his pants legs so he can expose Every his calves. Day. Yes. Just so people can look at it. What look at those calves to do that? And yeah. what I'm hearing you right now is basically that that is greatness, man. That's yeah. greatness. That's how you get there. Yeah, man. Humility, man. No. You ooze that, bro. You Thank ooze that. Man. It's an honor, my man. Bro, I appreciate yeah, that. Man. Don't get That's prideful about the humility comment. No, yeah, it's a, <laughs> no, but it's it's a very fragile thing, yeah. and I I fear every day ever letting that slip in. I love the the Romans used to have a servant follow the generals around and say you're only human right. and that's what staying in the suck every morning I go to the gym 315 pounds is always 315 pounds right. Byron is, is Byron but where's Byron at today right when you're creating all the time or you're working on yourself all the time that creation the effectiveness the accuracy of it brings you back to reality man I thought this was a good idea nobody cares okay hey I, I feel strong today you know 300 pounds Yo, it feels heavy today. So this is really where Byron's at. So if you stay in that flow of learning and training, you always have accuracy. And accuracy is confidence because it's experience with yourself. Inaccurate confidence is arrogance. And then you're blind because pride comes before a fall. You think you're something you're not. You know what I'm saying? That's it right there, you know? Hey, it's an honor. It's an honor, y'all. Heck yeah. Boom. What should the mindset be for somebody wanting to get into this? The mind, as we know, is 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 the tool that moves us to do everything. It's what motivates us, it's what helps us get that extra two pull-ups. Mm -hmm. yeah. What should the mindset be in this realm of industry? In three words, willing, capable, and prepared. Willing, capable, and prepared. When you look in the mirror, you might be willing. That's good, but that's one piece of it. Something's happening, are you willing? But then are you capable? Mm. Have you put in the time yes. to, to earn your respect? Right. To earn, to, to be formidable, to be righteous in right standing with yourself, your God, those around you? Are you really capable of doing something or will you actually make the problem worse? So willing is good. That's the beginning, that's the emotion, that's the movement, that's what's gonna move your body. But being capable is the second thing that we have to train in order to have. And we have to cultivate, right? And then prepared. Have you thought about the equation before it comes? Do you have the mindset? You know, do you have you ran these equations before you're in the room? Have you prepared for something to happen? Do you have food, water, shelter? You have all those things handled. So the preparation piece is always also 
also huge as well. So willing, capable, and prepared. When you look in the mirror, ask yourself that question. And they got to be all three together. All three you together. Can't just take one of them. Exactly. You got to have the package. And then, you know, you're a formidable protector. I like you're that. doing those things. I like that. And in good shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, fitness, yeah. physical fitness is a tool okay. that is necessary. For all right. Protecting. I think Good stuff. So what you guys are hearing is basically people that have done one period, one block of instruction. We have four. So everybody's just, they just warming up. They just, you know, so that was just, boom, that was the first shot. You know, that was the first quarter, right? So we're going to run through some amazing things. If we do this again on the fourth day, man, I'm telling you, people, protectors are going to be reborn. The value is, it's really invaluable where you walk away from here understanding about yourself, being able to learn under these awesome instructors. It's to the heart of the instructor. This is the stuff. Oh. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this entire series. I mean, this gives you a little glimpse of what you can expect out of Protector Symposium. There's some incredible things coming up, some pretty cool things, and uh, we just can't wait to kind of show you, uh, you know, what's out there. And again, the purpose of all this was to give you the glimpse, but also potentially maybe just trigger a question for you. And that is, am I a protector? And you don't have to be a protector, by the way. You can go there just for the workouts. You can go there just to be around some pretty amazing people. Yeah. But there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipe. Mike, what, what about any closing words from you on your end? If I'm a Canadian saying, hey, how do I have access to this symposium? Yes. What would you say to me? How do you have access? Well, first of all, you can visit many many links second is section. it ever going to come to canada yeah uh there is some incredible uh, uh I, actually I, i'm gonna say this yes okay it's I'll gonna be. happen but i can't say when yeah okay yeah protector symposium is coming to canada guys we can't see yet right now but it's in the works mm -hmm. it's gonna be explosive a eh? and um, a national one it's a, a national 100 percent and yeah. uh, we're gonna see a lot of our american friends uh come down and, uh, and be part of something that has never, ever happened on Canadian soil. Yeah, amazing. Dragon, any closing words? I'm just looking forward to it all, man. You know, looking forward to the 5.0 and the 6.0. And it's just, it's just an no, amazing experience, you know. And if it does, you know, when it does happen here, I think a lot of our, you know, local brothers will benefit so much, so much from that. And um, sisters. And sisters, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Stuff. Yeah, and my mom. My mom's gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Well, have a fantastic one. Enjoy the week, and uh, stay tuned for next episode. Stay safe, guys. Stay safe. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Executive Protection Lifestyle Canada. Make sure to drop by next week and don't forget to subscribe. 